This is Adventist News Update, a service of the South Bahamas Conference of Seventh-day Adventists. I'm Andrea Musgrove. Coming up in the news, health professionals encourage the community into a healthy lifestyle. Pathfinders take part in Remembrance Day services, and a pastor explores a new type of church planting in Africa. These stories and more on this week's Adventist News Update. Thank you for joining us for News Update. The Adventist Health Professionals Association of the South Bahamas Conference of Seventh-day Adventists and the Better Living Center held the annual Health Expo recently at the Mall at Marathon. Laverne has more on this event. It was a time of instruction, prizes and surprises. Persons gathered around the Health Expo just to get a peek at what was going on but were captivated by the samplings of delicious vegetarian dishes, the blood pressure screenings, detoxification demos, and the instruction on the principles of healthy living. Pastor Paul Scavala, president of the South Bahamas Conference of Seventh-day Adventists, was on hand for the event and spoke of the benefits of practicing the principles presented. Practicing these principles might not stop you from dying because we are promised that because of, of, of the sinful condition in which we live, we all have to face death. But it's like wearing a seatbelt in a car. The chances of you living healthier and happier are increased. The Health Expo at the Mall at Marathon is an annual event held by the South Bahamas Conference. And this year, the theme encouraged citizens of the Bahamas to get moving into a healthier, happier lifestyle. I'm Laverne Sturrup reporting for Adventist Television. The history question of the day is, who was the first Bahamian female to serve as principal of Bahamas Academy of Seven-Day Adventists located in Nassau, Bahamas? Is it A, Mrs. Lynn Smith, B, Dr. Ruth White, or C, Dr. Cheryl Rowe? This past Sunday, November 11th, countries in the British Commonwealth celebrated Remembrance Day. During this time, the veterans who served during World Wars I and II, as well as the servicemen and women who lost their lives, are remembered for the sacrifice they made to ensure the freedoms we enjoy today. This national event was celebrated with a church service at the Christ Church Cathedral, followed by the traditional wreath-laying ceremony at the Cenotaph in the Garden of Remembrance in downtown Nassau. The Pathfinder Band, along with the Pathfinders, led a parade of youth and civic organizations to the garden. Pastor Andrew Burroughs, Youth Director of the Atlantic Caribbean Union, said that each year the Pathfinders consider it an honor to participate in the event as it affords our young people the opportunity to show appreciation to our veterans. Percy Strawn, a veteran of World War II, president of the Bahamas chapter of the British Legion, and a member of the Hillview Seventh-day Adventist Church, laid the wreath on behalf of its members. Pathfinders Tyler Ramming and Janique Ellis, also from the Hillview Church, laid the wreath on behalf of the Pathfinder organization. According to the Tribune, there are 49 veterans from the World War II that are registered with the Bahamas chapter, and similar services were also held in the Atlantic Caribbean Union's region in the Cayman Islands and the Turks and Caicos Islands on November 11th. A number of businesses were introduced to the Seventh-day Adventist community last Sunday at the annual Community Services Sale and Business Expo that was held on the grounds of the Global Mission Center of Influence on Wolf Road. Among the products on display were goods and services that informed those in attendance about natural alternatives to enhance one's personal appearance, property management and acquisition, and a variety of health services. In addition, several churches also provided an assortment of scrumptious food items. The day was enjoyed by all and the event was carried live on Word SBC 88.3 FM. A few weeks ago, we told you about the newest Pathfinder Club that was established at the Garventines Primary School. Well, this week, the Garventines Eagles held their induction service. Alicia has more on this. 
On Thursday, November 15th, the Pathfinder Induction Service was held at the Ministry of Education School, Garventine's Primary. The audience sat with marked anticipation as the ceremony began with the Pathfinders and Adventurers marching in to the bold beats of the drumline, which consisted of two inductees, Jay Johnson and Leonardo Thompson followed by the color guard. Under the directorship of Mr. Sean Ray Jennings, the Gaventines Eagles Pathfinder Club was formed on October 1, 2012. It operates as an after-school club with 31 members, all boys from grades 4 through 6. Gaventines, which boasts an enrollment of 948 students, is located in the southwestern district of Nassau. Its principal, Mrs. Hart, stated that she was delighted to have a branch of the Pathfinder Club at the school and thanked the South Bahamas Conference for allowing this historic occasion. Pastor Paul Scavala, president of the South Bahamas Conference of Seventh-day Adventists, engaged the attention and minds of the audience as he delivered his charge to the inductees. He told them to remember the acronym PATH, Potential, Ability, Truth, and Helpfulness. First and foremost, he said that they must ensure that their passion and abilities be in line with God. Parents, faculty, administrators, and counselors beamed with pride and joy as they watched the eager Pathfinders perform fancy drills and recited the Pathfinder Pledge and Law. Director Jennings is assisted by Earthlyn Bullins, a 6th grade 7th day Adventist teacher at Gavin Tynes. Zelda Hanna, also Adventist and acting senior mistress, along with counselors Alicia Ferguson, Amelia Cooper, Angel Dixon and John Lewis Jr. We say congratulations to the Gaventines Eagles Pathfinder Club for a job well done. I'm Alicia Ferguson reporting for Adventist Television. The Living Faith Seventh-day Adventist Church's first outdoor Sabbath held last weekend was truly inspiring and refreshing, according to many who attended. Under the theme, Communing and Fellowshipping with God Through Nature, the Living Faith Church spent the entire Sabbath day at the Bahamas Youth Camp on Gladstone Road. It was a dress-down Sabbath when members left the four walls of the traditional church setting and clad in casual attire spent time in nature, closer to God and to each other. After scrumptious lunch and a resting period, the adults enjoyed a nature walk while the children participated in a special program in the chapel. Following the walk, Pastor Kenny DeVoe, the Family Ministries Director, led out in a vibrant, interactive discussion on communication and its various components. The evening ended around the small campfire with roast corn, veggie hot dogs, and watermelon. It was a special experience for the members who are looking forward to next year's Outdoor Sabbath. This initiative was the brainchild of the pastor of of Living Faith Church, Barrington Brennan. And coming up in the South Bahamas Conference, the children of our conference will celebrate a weekend of spiritual blessings and fun on November 24th to the 25th. On Sabbath, November 24th will be the Children's Day, which will be held in all of our churches. At 4 p.m. in the afternoon, there will be joint children's concert at the Hillview Seventh-day Adventist Church, where various church choirs will perform. And on Sunday, November 25th, the Bahamas Youth Camp will be transformed for the Children's Fun Day, which will be held from 12 noon to 5 p.m. And parents, here's an opportunity to get the children out of the house for some great fun. In an effort to foster a deeper meaning of prayer in the lives of its constituents, the Atlantic Caribbean Union Mission, ATCU, will launch its prayer initiative for 2013 on Wednesday, December 12th at the Hillview Seventh-day Adventist Church at 7 p.m. All are invited to come and experience the power that God's people possess collectively when we kneel in prayer to our Almighty God. We go now to our health tip. Have you ever had a food checkup? If you haven't, it's about time you did. What kinds of foods do you have in your cupboard, refrigerator, or your shopping cart? Are they stocked with fruits, vegetables, nuts, and whole grain items? Or are they loaded with processed and refined packages that we call food like potato chips? white bread, sugar loops, and pops. Do you have real fruit and juice? Or do you have colorful fruit-like gels, drinks, and sodas? We 
be labels. Make sure it's not just saying 100% vitamin C, but 100% fruit and juice. Remember, you are what you eat. Disease starts at the cell level. You are as healthy as your cells. Poor food builds poor cells and a weak immune system. Food straight from the ground are loaded with fiber and food chemicals that protect against disease. They are the foods your creator provided for you so you can eat freely of these foods. This is Ida May Hanna with your health tip from the South Bahamas Conference of Seventh-day Adventists. For Adventist World News, we go to Racket in Focus Christian Magazine. A pastor in Africa says it would be wrong to preach to a hungry congregation. So he's come up with a simple solution, the One Seat Project. So far, Pastor Ezekiel Muko has given 10,000 pumpkin seeds to members of his congregation. According to NTV Kenya, pumpkins are the perfect crop for food security. They grow easily and quickly and produce food for the family as well as income at the local markets. This week's history question was, who was the first Bohemian female to serve as principal of Bahamas Academy of Seven-day Adventists located in Nassau, Bahamas? The correct answer is B, Dr. Ruth White. Well, the gambling referendum is the hot topic right now, yes? We went there, and recently I was chatting with a lady who was trying to raise some funds for her church's anniversary. She lamented that the collections were not going well and she really didn't want to go to the number house. We laughed as I reminded her that she has small faith, but she serves a big God who owns everything, and with him, everybody wins. Psalm 24, 1 says, The earth is the Lord's and everything that's in it. Just trust God to provide. It's no gamble, but a guarantee. Well, thank you for tuning in to this week's news update. It's been our pleasure bringing it to you. On behalf of the production team of the South Bahamas Conference, we say have a blessed Sabbath and a spirit-filled week. I'm Andrea Musgrove for Adventist Broadcasting Network.